Hi, I'm John. Uh, I'm an engineer by trade and also a specialist in fitness equipment. Um, I've built a cross trainer here and uh, we've come to test it and found that it doesn't work. The first thing I've checked is my power connection and checked that, well, A, that I've got the right one and that it's plugged in and that it was in the socket nicely in the back of the machine, which it was. The machine's still not working. The console up here um, didn't light up. So I'm kind of thinking, well, what's the most likely scenario? And the most likely scenario is that I've, maybe I've damaged a connector or a wire here. So I've already taken this, this, uh, this column joint apart uh, and you can see the wires here. So I've checked my connections and I've checked the wires. The wires actually look okay. It doesn't look like I've got any of those snagged. But when I've come to inspect the connectors, uh, it looks to me as though I've inadvertently connected one of the connectors around the wrong way. It's quite an easy thing to do, really. Um, and in the process, I've also bent a pin. And looking at the problem, I think, well, probably it's something I can fix myself. So, first of all, I've got to get that pin, I've got to get that straight again. So I'm just going to use a little screwdriver, just very carefully, just put the screwdriver into the connector, gently ease the pin back so that it's in line with the others. rather like that. Now I'm hoping that now when I make the connector properly, as it should be, and just carefully look at that, click it in. That went together really well. I think that's okay, but I'm just going to take it apart and double check. Yes, that's fine. I can see all my pins are now nicely in a row. And I can see that where I made the mistake was I actually connected it round the wrong way. I didn't get the latch at the top. The latch actually clicks over the top of this little uh, plastic tang which is on the top of the, the socket. So click, nice fit. That was the problem. So I think if I put my other connectors back together and reassemble the machine, I think that will work just fine. 